Bigger Five Llewellyn was a gentleman that came from uh, Williamsburg, West Virginia. He followed Negro history, which that's what it was called at that time. He was a bachelor. He never married, but he was a gentleman, so to speak, because he liked to approach women on that gentleman realm. In 1945, he decided to start a museum and he thought that Cleveland would be the perfect place to do so. He thought that Cleveland um, was sort of like the middle of everything, and so he felt that it also had a lot of history in it, which it does. He was also labeled the, um, the father of African American history. A great many people know who uh, Igabop Llewellyn is. Uh, the biggest situation here is trying to uh, get people to understand what's going on with the uh, archives. People do know they're here, they just don't know and understand what an archive is. Uh, archive is not, a, is not a museum. It's a man's papers that did a great deal in the city. I mean, a lot of recognition. I mean, in 1964 when they had the exhibit and he presented all of his African-American works and he was told that it was the biggest and the best that they had ever seen. The most important things are the material he was ever able to gather about uh, people and incidents that uh, I didn't know about and I'm quite sure a great number of people didn't because we didn't learn it in school. The future is uh, finally getting it together as far as getting it scanned and once we get everything scanned getting a decent content management software so you can just put it up it'll be like going to um, the ECH the Encyclopedia of Cleveland History which you can go online you just put in whoever you're searching uh, it pops up and all the information is there Instead of uh, doing the basic people for African American history, there are other people, and there's a lot of people in, in the Ohio, Cleveland area. George Gibson Jones, the gentleman that forged uh, flywheels for trolley cars. The John Melvin story is, is the closest thing to me, because I never knew about him when I was in school. I never learned about him, and all that he did in regards to uh, public schools, uh, being a carpenter, uh, having his own river boat, canal boat, um, helping with the creation of uh, the different societies that helped uh, African Americans in the area. This is um, a refurbished from the original booklet that was used for the fundraiser for the Elijah Bryant um, Home for Colored People. In fact, that's where um, Mr. Flewellen resided. Uh -huh. Until his uh, re his um, to say his death, but I always say recycle. So okay. until his recycling. Um, some of the interesting things that happened in Cleveland. Uh, there's a lot of uh, history that people have forgotten or never even knew of. I'm a product of Sankofa. I believe you have to look back in order to go forward. And if you don't believe that you have something of, of worth uh, through your history, then you don't believe that you are of worth. For me, it's basically the information that's needed that it should be passed on. Because if you don't know how the people that you survive with exist and came to be, I don't see how you can continue or how the country can continue.